All right, so we're back at it. <laughs> I left uh, my home port like a couple days ago, and I'm heading towards heading towards Presqu'ile to go visit my parents, and we're gonna head out to Main Duck Island. That's the plan. So the ultimate sailing conditions right now, doing around 5.8 knots, 11 knots of wind. This is where I am today. And uh, if you take a look on the chart here, essentially I'm heading up towards, right now I'm just passing Oshawa and there'll be Darlington coming up here on the, on the port side. So let's take a look. about 7 30 in the morning right now maybe eight o'clock it's just perfect conditions you couldn't ask for better conditions right now absolutely flat and i don't see any other boats I got this uh got this cool set of binoculars from amazon for for 50 bucks look at this they're actually pretty good so far. I can see pretty clearly. Oh, there's a boat coming at us. Yeah, so looks like I'm gonna get in and around the Coburg area. Um, most likely late afternoon, maybe like four, could be sooner. So I may just continue on to Presque Isle because I really want to get there. And uh, there is a weather window this is the whole thing about where I'm going is to get to Maine Duck Island you have to pass around uh, the Bay of Quinty now, I've done it before you can watch those videos I'll link to it up here uh, man it's, it's a bit of a tough sail because the conditions can change really quickly and uh, I last time I did it it was pretty easy so I was lucky so hopefully we'll get the, the same sort of thing I'd to be honest, I'd rather have <clears throat> zero wind and just motor out to the island and stay there for a few days in really calm conditions because there's nowhere to really hide in a boat like this because there is like a little channel inlet that you can go in, but it's only five feet. So this is a six foot drafted boat. So I, I don't think I'll be able to get into that little area where, 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 where it's sheltered. So we'll see. Uh, just going to actually just cooking some bacon here i got some coffee brewing and i'm just gonna sit here and watch youtube videos and maybe do some work on the computer you know i'm i'm up looking at the horizon making sure there's no boats coming at me every few minutes here and uh it's just great hopefully we'll get to if we get to to coburg tonight it'll be a good time around dinner time and if I continue on to Presque Isle, I'll probably get there in the dark. Now, I've been into this port in the dark many times, and I know the port really well, so I think I'll be all right. Uh, we'll see how it goes. After eight or nine hours of sailing, you just kind of want to get in. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right. All right, so we're making some good progress here. <clears throat> we're now about... I'm, I'm, tw I'm 30... 29 nautical miles from where I'm going first, essentially, which is uh, Preskill Point. It's just before Sandbanks. If, if, for those of you that know this part of the area here, the world, Lake Ontario has like a spit that comes out where there's a bunch of really cool beaches and dunes, and uh, there's a point there, and that's it's called the Bay of Quinty. So the computer's saying that I'll get there tonight at roughly 7 30 p.m so uh it's pretty cool I'll show you guys what 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 my plans are here let's go down below and take a look at the charts so so we're essentially right about here and we want to go to here this is Preskill Point. Now my parents have a trailer which is right about here and uh, I think I'm gonna come around and go and anchor somewhere here. It's 
because there's a bit of shelter. Now that's that's as if there's a if there's horrible weather, and then that's my escape plan, right? So I think what I'll do tonight is just get to this this spot and get anchored and get situated. But the ultimate plan, what I really want to do, is I want to come around here, come around this point. There's there's Sandbanks Provincial Park, and I'll make a link to a video where I was where I actually pulled in and anchored here and went ashore. It's a really beautiful place. Around here, this is the destination right here. This is called Maine Duck Island. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is there's actually a, an island in the middle of Lake Ontario and on the north end. And uh, isn't this just great? Like, look, I'm, I'm making food and I got coffee on the brew. I can just look out the window here. If I want, I can just look forward. If I want to see what the sails are doing, I can just look up, right? You know, if I, there's, if I want to come through here, I got a lot of stuff packed in here. Uh, scuba gear, all sorts of things. I can look out here. That's where we're going, somewhere down there. So, I just love it, you know. There's no difference than, right now, me being at the dock and plugged in, because I have everything I need, my desktop computer, food, refrigeration, heat if I really want it. It's great. So, now this is a tricky situation here because let's go into the weather app, okay? Let's go to windy.com. Now, the problem with this loca location is, is, man, there's not much shelter. Now, I've read up on this island and the history of it, and we're, we're gonna go through that in this video. Um, once I get there, I'm gonna go through exactly what, the, they used to build ships here. The Royal Navy used to build ships here. And I wanna see evidence of that. I, you know, I found a few buildings, if you zoom into the maps here, like basically the only place here that has shelter, if the wind was going this way, is this little bay here. Now, according to the chart, I can fit in this little bay because I'm a six foot draft, but but there's even a dock here and some sailboats go into here, but to get through there is five feet. So there's just no way my boat will fit through there. So I have to be careful and make sure that I have a good window to get over to this place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Wapoose Island as my escape plan. I mean, if, if, if things get crazy, I can always sail to Wapoose, anchor, and wait for, for better weather to come, come through. Now, of course, this is in a couple days from now. This is, this is you know, I gotta get to Presque Isle Point. So, once we make it to Presque Isle tonight, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right. All right, so we're making good progress here. I had some lunch, and I've been sailing for about, I don't know, 10 hours eight hours now and I think I've done like 50 almost for 45 nautical miles this is where I am on the chart this is where I want to go and it's saying I'll get there tonight at 8 30 it's at two o'clock right now so making some good progress right here is Port Hope and um, Coburg so I mean, I could go in there, but the, the conditions are so perfect, I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like we'll get there just before sunset, be able to anchor in a spot in sunlight, which is critical. And then the next day I can figure out what's up, because I think, I think I'm just gonna go right to Sandbanks, around the point, and over to Main Duck Island. That's what I wanna do. This is great. situation here uh, so I, I went to just do a regular check I looked in the engine room and the Balmar uh, controller wasn't on and I was like that's weird so and then I noticed it's not charging so anyway what what has happened here is one of the wires going to the alternator had burnt through 
So obviously I need bigger wire there or something's not wired right. I don't know. So, and another thing too is the fuel gauge says that it's full of fuel, but this seems to have air in it here. So I'm gonna use a piece of wire and stick it down into the diesel diesel engine and see what's up, you know? Try to figure out exactly how much fuel's in there. Once I know there's lots of fuel there, then I know we're okay. I mean, I could sail to where I'm going. It's just gonna take me until dark and that's not a good thing. I need to get in there before dark. So, oh man, I'm gonna check the fuel here and see what, see how much fuel's left. Cause the gauge could be wrong, I don't know. So the dipstick's showing that there's lots of fuel in there. So there is lots of diesel. I mean, I am moving in the direction I need to go, which is good, just under sail power here. Um, it just makes me nervous, you know? All right, so I think I'm gonna bleed the fuel system again, start it up and see what happens here, because this is just strange. So I'm, I'm glad this is all happening now and not, not, you know, somewhere where I'm safe and it's a calm day. So let's see what happens here. All right, so I got the engine running. It seems to be running fine. I think the reason is because the, uh, the fuel filters, it's, it's too, it's high, it's above the fuel tank. That could be it. Anyway, there's, the wind's really dropped off. It's pretty wavy. I'm gonna head in and do, uh, I got 10 nautical miles left. I'm gonna do it by engine. Just get in, anchor, and then we're gonna deal with all this stuff tomorrow. Get a fresh look at it. All right. So after a long sail from my home port of Pickering all the way to Presqu'ile Bay, I found myself at anchor and all was well. Join me next week as I continue on to Maine Duck Island. Remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.